The Nazi lowriders operate in and outside prison walls. They are often fueled by their favorite drug of choice, methamphetamines, also known as meth, speed, or crank. And as we see in this Fox Undercover report, NLR violence has already struck the general public, including police officers. It was 4.30 on a dark, cold January morning at this Kern County gas station. A sheriff's deputy down and seriously injured. Matt Knoll, an ex-con from Riverside with a Nazi lowrider tattoo on the back of his neck, was on the run in this stolen pickup. He pulled off the freeway to get some gas. I looked over my right shoulder. And, and spotted Deputy I Jeff Doherty filling up. And that's when I saw the truck just barreling at me. Noel rammed the patrol car at 40 miles per hour, pinning Doherty between the vehicles, stripping the flesh off the deputy's leg, ripping a gash in his back, and breaking his arm. Doherty remembers, as if in slow motion, looking right into Noel's eyes. And I realized that this was just not an accident, that this was an attempt to take me out, you know, to, to, to hit me on purpose. His right leg left disabled after seven painful operations. Doherty lost his job as a deputy. Noel, who was convicted and sentenced to life in prison, testified at trial that he'd been in a drug-induced haze on a three-day methamphetamine binge. Probation officer John Thompson says Nazi lowriders call it the lifestyle of the spun and run. They are up 24 hours a day. They never stop. They're going straight through, and then they'll crash, and they'll sleep it off for three or four days, start the whole process all over. NLR parolee Donald Ariasi, with repeated drug and grand theft charges on his record, six weeks ago was sentenced to three years in prison. Police in Contra Costa County caught him fleeing with a shotgun after he too ran a stolen car into a sheriff's deputy. And here in Torrance last April, police shot and killed a Nazi lowrider who shoved an officer and pulled out a gun during a traffic stop. Michael Ostermiller saw it happen. The cops asked him to drop it, and he wouldn't. He turned to towards the cops, and that's when the cops shot him. Richard Thorpe. An NLR parolee wanted on a weapons charge was dead on the spot. Traces of methamphetamine and alcohol later found in his system. It's just bad. It's really, really bad. It's a nightmare, a living, living nightmare. Wendy and Travis James blame the death of their two-year-old son, Robert, on a carload of Nazi lowriders driving down Main Street in Hesperia. I was trying to pass him on the road and they just blocking us in, playing games. An NLR gunman climbed out the window and pumped seven slugs into the James car, killing their baby son in his car seat. Mr. Williams. Last month, Nazi lowrider Alvy Williams, already in prison on an unrelated weapons charge, was arraigned for murder more than a year after it happened. On a video hookup from jail, it was the first time that James saw the accused killer since the day their son was shot. You killed my baby. You took my baby away from me. That's all I want to tell him. Travis James believes Williams was torqued out on meth the day of the murder. The trial is now set for December. Go away! Here at a North Hills house, an LAPD career criminal unit arrests NLR associate Patrick Cowboy Ray. NLR graffiti is painted on a door. The backyard is overflowing with stolen property. Engine parts, computer terminals, tools, and even bicycles. Cops say it's all sold at garage sales to get drug money. In Upland Detective Barry Belt sees the same NLR activity in his area. But their motivation is, is the drugs and money. So that's what, that's what feeds their frenzy. NLR member Jeremy Bell of Anaheim got seven years in prison after ransacking a house, stealing $35,000 worth of stamps, jewelry, tools, and other household appliances police say he sold for dope money. His girlfriend, Juliet Slayton, who got three years, sent letters from jail asking a friend to stop witnesses from testifying against her. Investigators say Juliet is the old girlfriend of J.J. Stevens, a reputed NLR wannabe now awaiting trial for the 1993 murder of Garden Grove police officer Howard Dallies. This former you know, deputy, it's, it's nearly killed fair. by senseless and, uh, NLR conduct, out, you know, sends this message. Uh, it could have been 
your mother, it could have been your sister, it could have been your brother, it could have been your father. I mean, where are they going to stop? Former Deputy Jeff Doherty says there has to be an end to it. Meanwhile, corrections department agents tell Fox News that the Nazi lowriders are a relatively new criminal force. And to stop them, even most law enforcement agencies still need to be educated as to who the Nazi lowriders are and what they're up to.